We're typically gone from 8 a.m. sometimes till 8 p.m. So things are really crazy. It's only day one of the challenge and things are not going as planned. 7.30, we need to be out of the house at eight. <gasps> Hi, my name is Aurora and I have a three-year-old. This week I'm going to attempt to make zero waste lunches Monday through Friday and pack them up for school. Okay, let's take a deep dive into what is happening in my fridge. These are groceries I bought before this zero waste challenge. We don't do water bottles anymore, so that's good. We do our filter. These are some of the things I might use to make Naomi's lunches. Lots of plastic. We have some restrictions with the lunches. We can't do peanuts in school and we're eating plant-based, so they're gonna be plant-based lunches. I think those are all the main restrictions. Well, and obviously zero waste. I've always been interested in the environment and I always thought that by recycling, I was pretty much doing enough for the environment. And then in 2017, China stopped taking all of our recyclables. So now a lot of the things that we put in the recycling bin are actually going into the landfill. So I've started looking into just eliminating the use of plastic altogether. It seems a bit daunting because when you set foot in a supermarket, pretty much everything is in plastic. I've made some baby steps, but now I'm hoping that with this challenge, it'll spark up some new habits. We're here at the farmer's market. Yay, we're Yay. excited. Yay. Yay. We're getting lots of yummy things. We have a nice full menu of yummy, mainly crunchy veggies and juicy fruits. A few things we've gotten started with the zero waste mindset is using cloth produce bags. Do you want it for your lunch? I can find cucumbers at the farmer's market, so I'm getting them here. They're in plastic, so I can't, I can't get these plastic wrapped cucumbers, even though they were the organic ones I wanted. Oh, wait! <laughs> non-plastic ones, woohoo, we can get this. We're getting some sandwich bread in the bulk section, so no plastic bag needed, woohoo. We're gonna get lots of yummy stuff for our lunch. We're gonna get some brown rice, and we're gonna find some chickpeas, and we're gonna look for some bulk macaroni. I'm taking a picture of the flu number. Now I have it here, so I know what I got. I've only just kind of dabbled in the world of using the bulk bins. And at first it does seem a little bit intimidating because you have to take a picture of the blue number and then you say, hey, this is the number for the apricots I got or whatever. And then so that you don't get charged for the weight of the bag, you say, hey, can you subtract the tar weight of this bag? So I was looking for some bulk pasta, but I couldn't find any bulk pasta. So we picked up this, it's made with red lentils so it's really healthy and it's in a box so we're gonna recycle the box this should work for a couple lunches with some nice pasta salad type things we were busy today Naomi and I doing lots of shopping we got apples carrots little mandarin oranges cucumber we got at the supermarket and little sugar snap peas. We also got these yummy raisins. This is definitely gonna go in the little treat section of Naomi's lunchbox. So this is Naomi's plate. So let's go over here to see what we got. Apricot, very easy. So many things come in packages, especially for children's lunches. And as busy people, I understand the need for convenience. What I decided to do was make the same lunch Monday and Wednesday, and then the same lunch Tuesday and Thursday, and then Friday's sort of a wild card. Friday's gonna be leftovers, some repurposing of the lunches from the Monday, Tuesday variety. So our water's come to a boil, so we're going to cook these red lentil pasta the way you would any pasta. I wanted to make something I knew Naomi would like to eat and also hopefully something where I could pack it to for my lunch for work. One of the days is gonna be rice and garbanzo beans, AKA chickpeas. I have to soak them now. This all seems like a lot of preparation, but really it's more so on the Sunday and Monday where we're actually doing the cooking and then the rest of the days is just gonna be more assembling. We're gonna soak these overnight. Woo! 
I think my pasta is ready. Yeah, this is plenty of food. I'm definitely taking some of this to work tomorrow. Mama's got to eat also. I'm adding a little drizzle of olive oil. I ended up putting salt, pepper, a little garlic powder, and a little turmeric. Those are kind of the spices I have on hand. And I know that my daughter does like the taste of turmeric, so it's something nice to put on it. So now I'm going to just cut up these vegetables. I'm going to put it in here, and then the lunch is going to be ready. We're done with Naomi's lunch, and I hope she likes it. We'll see tomorrow what the verdict was. And now my lunch is ready, so you gotta take care of yourself too, man. Bedtime. Which thing did you like in your lunch? Apple. Did you like the pasta? Yeah. So we had a busy day. Naomi went to school. I went to work, of course. And then I went to Zumba class and Naomi hung out at the gym childcare, which she loves to do. So we only just got home. It's already 9.30. Naomi had her bath and we attempted to go to sleep, but Naomi's super hyped and doesn't feel like going to sleep. I haven't even made her lunch yet. And Nomi is gonna help me since she's up and wanting to <laughs> participate. <laughs> it's only day one of the challenge and things are not going as planned. I was hoping to make the rice and the chickpeas tonight, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the leftover pasta as our main course, and then we're gonna vary up the sides, keep things fun and interesting, right Nomi? Yeah. And then we'll see about a, maybe like a dried fruit or some pumpkin seeds or something like that. And we're all set. You did a really good job putting together your lunch. Are you happy with your lunch? Yeah. For day. For day. For day. Heading back to work for lunch and I got my to-go burrito right here. Whoop! Zero waste to go, baby. Okay, these chickpeas are definitely starting to look ready. They only really needed to cook for like 40 minutes because I soaked them for two days so I got behind. They got ready super fast. I'm not really that great at cooking. I just make really simple things. So I could jazz it up with some sauces and stuff like that. We're typically gone from 8 a.m. sometimes till 8 p.m. So things are really crazy. So, but just having these staples, having a big thing of rice, having a big thing of beans, and being able to put it into different stuff actually makes my life a lot easier. So that's kind of cool. While I get things together, we're having a little snack time. Naomi's having some of the pumpkin seeds from our bulk bin purchase. And she's also having some cashews that we bought before the Zero Waste Challenge. Sort of an adjustment to shop in the bulk bins, but I feel like it's something that we could start doing because these are things that we eat normally and there's no reason why we can't just scoop them up in the bulk bins and put them in a cloth bag and then that's it. It's not too complicated. Since I have a kid, I felt like this is the perfect time to be introducing new habits and a new lifestyle because to her, they aren't new. To her, they're just the way we do things. Using reusable things and not single-use plastics all the time, it'll just be the way you know she does her life. You wanna try the chickpeas and see if they came out yummy? Yeah. Did the chickpeas come out yummy? Yeah. Say bye, I'm gonna go play. Bye, I'm gonna go play. Good morning, everyone. I'm not awake yet. We're gonna see now what Naomi ate yesterday for lunch and then make her lunch super fast. Oh. Pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this up real fast and fill it up with new lunch. So this morning we're doing the chickpeas and brown rice, and the chickpeas, I seasoned them up real good last night. Naomi's lunch for the day is put together. It took me about three minutes only, and it looks delicious. Naomi seemed to like her lunch, so let's see what she ate. Whoa, it was good. Yeah. Do you want rice and chickpeas again? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go to sleep and all the ingredients are cooked up, so I'm just it's gonna take me like less than five minutes to assemble it in the morning. I'm definitely doing that in the morning because we're pretty tired. Good morning. Mm, woke up a little late, so we're just gonna speed through all of that. 7.30, we need to be out of the house at eight. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Settle down. So today, I'm just gonna eat that one. I thought, oh, I'll do the cucumbers, but then I saw the carrot and the apple still from yesterday floating in the fridge. I was like, we gotta use this up. So things are wild today. The only thing I did in the moment was slice up the vegetables, which you can do in advance if you want. Lunch has come together in under five minutes. Surprise! Surprise! 
So we ate all our lunch. What did you like about it? Chicken peas. <laughs> you like the chickpeas? <laughs> no, don't show. It's yucky. I'm gonna use up all the leftovers from the week to make something very new and exciting for tomorrow. Are you excited? It's the last day of the Zero Waste Lunches Challenge. So this is what we're using for our lunch today. We have our little toast that came from the bulk bread. We have our green beans. A few additional things I got. I got some kiwi because I thought we needed a little bit more fruit just to give us some variety. And then I got some lemon because I'm gonna make some chickpea spread to put on the toast. Now, our lunch is ready to go. Nomi, does this lunch look like a good lunch? <laughs> Did you eat your whole lunch? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Was it yummy? Yeah. Hey. This week I spent $34.75 on Naomi's lunches. And the really great thing is that I had a ton of stuff left over that I could pack up for my own lunches to take to work. Yay! So we did pretty well this week in terms of waste. What we mainly have here are stickers. These are from the cucumbers when I couldn't find cucumbers at the farmer's market. This is from the kiwi, this is from the lemon. This is it in terms of the waste. This is all sort of contributing to the waste, even though it's not immediate for this week, but eventually these are gonna run out. So a good challenge for me would be when these run out to replace the spices with bulk spices. I'm just realizing now I totally forgot about a very specific item of trash that I made this week. In conclusion, trying out this zero waste lunch challenge has been really fun. Having a zero waste lifestyle is gonna get easier and pretty soon it's just gonna be second nature. And I'm so excited to take out less trash and less recycling every week. And Naomi's learning about recycling in school and she has this really cool art project coming up where we're gonna use recyclable items to make an art project. And then she's going to show it off at an art show. I think that's awesome. We'd love to make sure we're leaving future generations this beautiful planet, so I'm all about it. Thanks for being part of this journey with me. 